Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. That means it's time for some tips from Insoft. I'd like to introduce to you the newest member of the crew, Charles Summer. Hey, how's it going? So Charles, uh, got some questions this week? What's going on? What are you thinking about? Yeah, uh, actually I've noticed a lot of our clients, customers asking about exporting information and also I've noticed that a lot of them want to delete items in mass, they don't want to do everything individually by hand when getting rid of a company per se. Yeah, yeah. So when you get rid of a company, you can't have any equipment left, so you got to get rid of it, and you got to do so responsibly. You probably need like a system administrator doing it, right? Something like that. Maybe you SQL. Yeah, and maybe uh, not actually delete it, but move it somewhere else, just uh, an extra fail safe for the uh, scenario. At hand. So you can store it off of your database. Mm. Try the export import module. Ah, the export import module. That's a good point. Okay, so let's go in here. Uh, we're going to head in to the export import module. Um, so, right here, we're going to export equipment and events and action requests. Probably not going to need to worry about action requests so much, uh, but uh, primarily the equipment and events here. So, if I wanted to just export everything from a company for a specific customer or maybe even another way to push out to my single user system uh, instead of the data exchange module or the tech sync I can use this and I want to select my equipment first and then I want to use all associated events with that equipment so it will only delete events for the equipment not all of the events in the database that's right it'll either only move the uh, equipment and all associated events or delete it depending on which option we choose of course Oh. But if we don't choose this option up here, this is just going to export it into a file. It's not going to delete from your database. However, if you wanted to get rid of some things, do a little house cleaning in it, as it were, uh, press this button, delete from database. Of course, you can only be a system administrator to utilize this functionality. Uh, and if you're not, it won't even show up on there. So uh, let's say we want to delete it, and I want to delete one of my companies. So I'm going to go to export. Don't worry, it's a scary moment when you press that export button, but this is going to tell you exactly what's happening. Make double sure that you're doing what you want to do. From here, I'm going to say I want to delete everything from my ABC company. Everybody's got an ABC company. All right, so let's move it down. And once all those items are down there, those are actually going to be added on to uh, the list here. So let's pull this in so you can see that too. Cool. So everything now from my ABC company, I'm going to add it, and then I'm going to select a location on my desktop or wherever on my machine that I would like to save it. You can name it whatever I want to do. It's going to save it as a zip file. Save, and now we've exported. Wonderful. So uh, we can repeat and do it with other companies right afterwards, or we can just X out of here. So uh, right here, we're right in the BCD company. It took us right out of the ABC company. And as you can see here, if I go into the ABC company, uh, there's nothing left in there. That removed all the events, all of the equipment. It's a really crucial component because if you try to actually delete things manually, you're going to inevitably leave orphan data behind. So this is a super useful feature for keeping the database clean, as well as just moving information to your customers. Just so you know, it's super easy to bring everything back in in case you didn't mean to do that. Let's go back into the export import module. And we're going to import from file, just the other side there. And then we select what file we're going to bring in. So we're going to bring in the exact same file. I can actually preview all the equipment and all the events to make sure that this is actually what I want to bring in as well. So we'll import it. And it brings it right in. Boom. Done. Just like that. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. As you can see, all the equipment is back in with the relevant history as well. We hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and we'll talk to you soon.